Hi everyone, so today I have a lovely little book haul for you. It's kind of exciting, I wasn't really expecting to be able to actually do a book haul at all this semester, but I have five books to show you, so let's get right to it. Uh, the first three I bought at Chapters. I have my parents to thank for the Valentine's Day gift card that they sent me. They, they know that I like buying books, so you know, that was their parental thing for the day. The first book that I decided to get with the gift card was Every Day by David Levithan. I have never read a David Levithan book solely by him before. I did read Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which was him and John Green. I was in the young adult section looking for a book that wasn't going to break the bank and make me go really far over my gift card, and I saw this and I was like, hey, I've heard some pretty good things about this. As far as I understand, it's about this person, it's not necessarily a boy or a girl, called A, who every day when they wake up, they're in a different body. Normally there's like a certain code that A exists by in which they cannot get attached to any person, they just sort of silently exist in that other person's body for a day. And then one time A wakes up and finds out that he, she is attracted to this girl and then spends the book trying to find this girl again. It's an interesting concept and I've heard really good things about it so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. The second book that I picked up was actually the one that when I got the gift card I was like this is what I'm gonna buy and that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Yes, it's the ugly paperback cover but they didn't have the hardcover and the hardcover would have basically used up all the money that I had. So I uh, sucked it up and went for this cover. It's growing on me a little bit. I mean, I do really like the font. On my shelf it looks nice. Libba Bray, I have read all of her books so far. She was my favorite author for a long time following the Gemma Doyle trilogy, but then I read Beauty Queens and Going Bovine and I just wasn't huge fans of those, but this one is much more uh, in, the, in the likes of the Gemma Doyle trilogy. There's a fantastical element to it. There's this girl named Evie and she ends up in New York City with her uncle in 1926, so we got the Roaring Twenties. She has a special power and basically doesn't want anybody finding out about it, but when somebody is murdered, she figures out that her power can help track down this serial killer. It is a series in the same sense that the Gemma Doyle trilogy was. I just feel like there's a lot of potential with this and that Libba Bray writes these kinds of books really well, so I was willing to pick it up and give it a shot after A, hearing everyone talk about how amazing it was, and B, even after reading her other books that I'm not a big fan of. The third book that I found was in the discount section, and it's actually a hardcover, which is pretty sweet. Uh, it's by Tana French and it's called Faithful Place. I have read two of her books. She wrote um, In the Woods, which is like a brilliant, brilliant book. And then the other one is called The Likeness. They're all part of the Dublin Murder Squad series. They're not necessarily books that you have to read in order though. They're kind of all just related around the same place. The Likeness was okay. Definitely not the same as In the Woods. This one Hopefully it will be a bit better, but basically it's about Frank, who, you know, works in the Dublin Murder Squad. And a long time ago, he and this girl named Rosie were gonna meet in London, I believe, and she never showed, and he just assumed that she left him because she was gonna start a new life without him. I mean, even though they had plans to start a new life in London, England. Then, you know, oh so many years later, her, her suitcase magically appears behind a fireplace in a house, and of course, Everyone's like, okay, what happened here? Like, this looks very suspicious. So this book is him revisiting his past, as she likes to do with her books, and figuring out what happened to Rosie. Mm -hmm. What's awesome about this is even though it's the hardcover, it actually still matches the other two editions of the books that I have with like the very simple font on the side, so that'll look really good on my shelf too. The other two books that I have arrived yesterday, and they were the things that made me want to actually film this book haul. They're both from Penguin Young Readers. There's been a couple of booktubers that I've seen haul books from them, and I picked two from the available list. The first one is Under the Egg by Laura Marks Fitzgerald. This is actually a middle grade book, but the plot sounded very intriguing. It's basically about hidden art. This girl named Theophilia, or Theo, is um, living in this house supporting her mother and she discovers what seems to be a priceless painting hidden in the house 
Her grandfather used to be a security guard at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and so she is wondering how this painting came to be in their house. It said it was in the tradition of the mixed up files of Miss Basil E. Frankweiler, and I read that book a few times when I was younger, so I just kind of had these like little flashbacks to it, so I figured I'd pick this up. I mean, the font is gigantic. It'll take me probably like a day or less to read this book, but it just sounded really fun. And lastly, this was the one that got me really excited and all of all the videos that I've seen so far, everyone has picked this one up. It is Half Bad by Sally Green. This is a young adult book and it takes place in England. It's about 16 year old Nathan who lives in this cage. He is a combination of the good witches, the white witches, and the bad witches or the black witches, so he is half bad. To survive, Nathan has to break out of this cage and find his father and get his powers and all of these, you know, cool sounding things have to happen. And can we also just talk about how amazingly awesome this cover is? I mean, it's shiny, you got the face there, but it also kind of looks like blood and water and it just, oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. I'm also really excited about the fact that they are really nice hardcovers. They're not even art copies, they're like the official ones that you would buy off the bookshelves. That is awesome. Thank you, Penguin. <laughs> so that is my five book book haul. Let me know if you have read any of the books below, if any of them sound exciting, maybe if there's one in particular that you want me to review. I mean, I'm obviously looking forward to reading all of them. I don't know which one I'm going to pick up first. But whatever one may be a little combination of what you guys want and what I want, I can make a decision about what I'll read next. As always, all of our links are in the doobly-doo. Check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you later.